Perhaps one of the most uh, irritating annoyances of owning a MacBook is the fact that um, you can't really upgrade the hard drive because it's a solid state on the bottom of it. Um, you can't add an extra hard drive, you can't add a port that you can uh, replace a CD-ROM to say that it's another hard drive or a solid state. Um, you can upgrade the solid state in this. This one has 256 uh, gigabytes, but the cost of doing that is about five, six hundred dollars worth. Um, and that's just, that's ridiculous. Now the reason why I care so much about it is because right now my disk space is very low about 60 gigs free and I'm using 129 gigs. An SD card. Now obviously the Mac already has an SD card built into it so what is the point of this video? Anyone can insert one uh, and have you know 64 gigs worth um, so what's the point? Well the, what we're going to do with this video is we're going to make it more or less a permanent type of memory for me to add my Google Drive images to and my photos and my pictures and my school documents and my work and inventions and writings anything that I want to store on here and what I'm going to do is on this side right here there is uh, an SD card slot and I'm going to basically cut it down because right now the biggest challenge of this um, card reader is everything works just fine except for that it protrudes and this becomes a big issue when I'm putting it in my school bag or when I'm traveling you know I have to undo it so it doesn't break and as a result um, sometimes I forget it I may put it in the car or in my pocket and then all of a sudden I need to get data off of it and I can't and so this is what this video is about and it's gonna be a very simple modification all I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this in half this bottom space right here is blank that's why we can cut it straight off um, everyone knows you can go to a store and buy like the smaller micro SDs. Well, this is like basically one of these are in here. And so when we cut this in half, we're not cutting any circuits. We're not cutting any buses, nothing. All we're doing is we're cutting off excess space. You know, when they made these originally, it needed all this space. Now, they don't need the space, but a lot of the technologies like this camera still use the SD cards. And I'm just going to go right along the bottom of here and just score it so that way I can see clearly where my line is where the laptop meets. Now I don't know 100% how far uh, how much empty space is in this SD card uh, I don't know if it's just empty up here to there so I'll show you a couple of ways to maybe get around that and hopefully the one you guys buy like the one that I have will be just the right amount of empty space to keep this flush all right, so I've got this marked pretty good. Try and mark the sides so everything's very clear. All right, so if it's been done correctly, you should definitely have a solid line um, all the way around. So as you can see, and then on the other side, um, you can probably tell that I've scored it right there. So that'll be where I want to cut. All right, so I'll just keep it a little bit after my score mark so that way I'm uh, not cutting it too short. And all I'm going to do is just score it with my razor blade along this line. Because it's plastic, I don't have to cut all the way through. Let's try that again. I shouldn't have to cut all the way through. I should just be able to score it a couple times. And more or less, it'll just bend with a little applied pressure. Okay, so it's pretty much cut actually quite a bit into it. If I wanted to, I could just very easily uh, bend it, and I'm sure it would bend right there. But what I want to do is I want to score a little bit on this side uh, to get an even cut. I can do it lightly, and then obviously uh, it'll start cutting the plastic a little bit here, a little bit there, and before long, it should cut right through. Okay, so we're done that's it so the next thing I want to do is just bend this a little bit there we go you can see it coming a little bit now I'll go to my other side and I'll bend this
Oh, I'm noticing something interesting. There, wow. Wow, look at, look at that. Be it? Let me pull it off here. And... So here is the actual memory module inside this. And there it is right there. As I said, it's basically just another memory module. I can't get it all the way out and I don't really want to, but... So it's just another memory module within this. So while we can, you know, take this apart, let's take a look. Surprise, surprise, nothing. So if anyone is interested basically in the measurements and they're wanting to know what uh, the length is before uh, they risk cutting the actual memory module inside this chassis. So let's just uh, go through that and see what we're looking at. Now this is in inches. So, okay, I think that's pretty, pretty good. It's in there. So what we're looking at is um, 0 0.77 round up 5. So 0 0.775. So here's the measurement for that and that's uh, 0 0.775 and this will give a good indication for anyone who's wanting to do this at home what to expect from the uh, the length because I know that as this is being cut you don't want to risk cutting the actual memory module okay so I'm gonna insert this just like so press all the way down now for this module here it's obviously gonna protrude just a little bit I will live with that um, it's not a big deal I can now throw this in a bag and it's not gonna come out suppose if I wanted to, um, I could maybe put some tape on it if I thought it was going to come loose, but I don't want it to look ghetto or, you know, I don't want it to look horrible. So I think that's perfectly fine. This is my dongle for my Logitech mouse. Here's what it looks like from the side. So again, not, not bad. Not bad at all for a quick modification. And it's, you know, seemingly, it's just not even there. I took a standard SD card that was 64 gigs. Um, ultra high speed one or two I would make sure you get anything that's over 45 megabits per second or faster write time uh, on and read time you don't want a very slow card even if it's a lot of space you don't want to wait all day for it um, to transfer all your information especially like me if you're gonna do a lot of reading and writing from it that's the last thing you really want to do